the <clears throat> next thing we're gonna talk about is uh just kind of local tournaments and specifically a lot of 1k tournaments popping up 2ks whatever um these bigger kind of local tournaments that are kind of taking the place of league cups it feels like right now i know a lot of league cups used to kind of sync together with 1k tournaments that stores would have so they'd make their league cups 1ks as well as well um, but now we're seeing those kind of independent of official pokemon tournaments a ton of like a ridiculous amount of 1ks like on twitter every day i'm seeing like or over the weekend you know this is what i played in my 1k top eight in my 1k won my 1k got the finals in my one. like there's so many 1ks going on which is great to see a lot of um it gives like a, a players a good reason especially the more competitive players you know get out there and go to their local local game shops and and play in some of these tournaments um what do you think chip are you a big fan of the the one case i know you've been participating in quite a few yourself yeah i'm a huge fan um i've actually just got, been kind of playing in more local tournaments the only 1k i've really played in um okay. recently was the full grip games one uh for the at the very start of the rotation right that you and i played in the finals of that one um which we don't have to go into detail about what happened in that but <laughs> azul did win anyway um yeah i'm a huge fan of the 1ks because it does a few things it, it gives local players a competitive way to play pokemon because a lot of stores you know even through the pandemic without official events a lot of stores will still have a little pokemon night at their local store and a lot of players have picked up Pokemon over the last couple of years and have never had an opportunity to really play it in a competitive setting. Maybe, you know, on your Pokemon night, there's like a little eight man running, you know, just eight players playing for, you know, a few packs here and there. But putting some prizing on the line, uh, putting some cash up top is definitely something that's going to get a lot of people traveling to your event from, you know, across your state or even outside of your state a lot of times. And it's a great way for newer players to get a competitive experience and it's a great way for just players in general to support their local game stores which i'm always a huge fan of any way that players can support their local game stores i think is a great thing to do yeah definitely really good to see and i think there's like a, a besides you know all that great stuff there's also definitely, definitely a little bit different of a way you can prepare or even not prepare for some of these more local events you can go into it with the mindset of trying a new deck or testing out a new build um or just kind of picking up the deck you last played or your kind of favorite deck you want to play and just going with that and not really being i guess too serious about your testing and preparation going to that which i definitely think is just fine you don't have to like overly think about it i don't think you have to make it overly complicated and uh past that you can sometimes pick up on some you know some local trends Maybe everyone's a little, a, quite a few Mew haters. Maybe everyone plays Mew in the area. You can make some, you can make some adjustments like that. Like we kind of talked a little bit about, um, uh, you know, playing Leafeon at Braz the Brazilian regionals. Less people playing Mew. Maybe I can, you know, take the Leafeon there. Same thing with some of these more these smaller local events. You know, sometimes there's not going to be very many of a certain top deck that you just don't need to really have to go out of your way to beat and you can still try and be very much trying to win the tournament but you can even get like kind of a leg up on the competition and then go with just like a straightforward urshifu v max deck uh if you expect basically no mew to show up or something like that yeah and i would say prepping for a 50 to 100 player tournament versus prepping for uh six seven eight hundred person regionals is a vastly different process and it's honestly if you play in the area often enough like if you play at this local store on a weekly basis it's probably way easier for you to metagame for the 1k tournament than it would be for a regional championships because at a regional championships there's just a wide array of decks you have to you know metagame and deck build a lot more meticulously especially at the top level you know you're really considering things just for like the day two field of you know what you're going to be playing against in day two but when you're prepping for a 50 to 100 player tournament like a lot of these 1ks have been you can make a lot more you know risky decisions you know you can play a deck that uh would normally lose to a top deck like azul said um, or, I mean, my biggest tip to players playing at 1Ks would be to play a consistent list of a top deck. Because if you just play like a, like if you literally, if you are a really good player and you play Bruno's winning deck or you play even Natalie's winning Mew list, if you just show up with one of these decks uh, and you're a good player, you are probably going to make top eight at the tournament. Because in general, uh, compared to a regional field, a 1K field is going to be a lot softer, a lot easier to play against. And if you're just playing a good, consistent deck, your skill as a player will allow you to make a deep run and win some money at one of these tournaments. 
a softer playing field. I've never heard. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that. Really? <laughs> yeah, Chip just called y'all soft. Okay, yeah. <laughs> e- easy, easy, easy. <laughs> no, just kidding. I mean, I'm unless just, you're playing yeah. against, like, you know, unless you have literally, like, Azul and Tord and Pedro and Stefan and <laughs> yeah, all no, those I mean, people that's, at your that's lunch, true. you know. And that applies, to, that applies to anyone going to any of these events. Like, it's going to be a little bit of an easier field. Bringing a good deck um can still be that first step um to seeing success for sure just bring a good good archetype with a good list good solid list behind it don't have to get trying to get too cheeky or too cheesy um and also you can like i said yeah lo- the local events do open it up so you can play some stuff that is a little bit more cheeky or a little bit more cheesy if you want to but you know have an understanding for sure behind it of you're probably not playing the best deck in the room and um you know just be fine with that but of course there's a lot less on the line um a lot, lot less uh overall you know you're just going who knows 30 minutes down the road to your local game store to just go spend a, a day playing pokemon and hang out with some friends so um don't have to take it quite as seriously for sure but uh yeah definitely cool to see a lot of them pop- popping up i wish i had a little bit more time to get some of to get to some of the ones around here personally i haven't been to any of them there's been like two or three of them since i moved out to california but i haven't had a chance to get to any of them um but you know maybe some in the future for sure yeah i've got one coming up in a couple of weekends that i'm excited to go to and um, there's actually two in my area, one this weekend and one next weekend. I can't go to the one this weekend, but I'm definitely going to be planning to go to the one on the next weekend and, you know, maybe walk away with a little bit of money. That would feel, uh, you're pretty good. And that's what, <laughs> you know, it's just a nice way to be able to compete. Uh, you know, yeah. there's not a regional championships every single weekend. And while this isn't the same level of competition, uh, that you get necessarily to regional championships, it's still competitive Pokemon and you're still playing for something. Um, something else I love about this, I don't remember if I said this or not already, but like, you know, this is just a great chance for a lot of the newer players to be able to compete at a Pokemon tournament because not everyone gets to a regionals every single year, right? You've got a lot of, you know, good, like, I know there's a lot of good, solid players in my area who would probably see solid finishes if they could go to regionals who just because of work or because of family or travel constraints money constraints whatever it is they don't get to go to regional championships and so they show up and do really well at the local events and um you know that this is their competition so i i love 1ks for so many different reasons if you have 1ks happening in your area check your local stores see what they're doing try to go out show support and uh, you know get a little local competition uh and yeah 